Hello learners. In this tutorial, I am going to explain how to connect your Excel file into Power BI desktop. So, in the previous videos, I have explained uh, how to install Power BI desktop version on your Windows operating system. So, if you have any issues with that, you can watch that video. Uh, from the uh, this video tutorial, uh, I will show you how to get your data into the Excel data into Power BI desktop. So already i have opened my power bi desktop as i explained in previous video this is a free tool provided by microsoft to develop dashboards and the report so uh, there are multiple lo uh, locations to get your excel data into the power bi desktop uh, the first one is you can see uh, in my canvas import data uh, from excel there's a button from that you can get your uh, excel data in addition to that you can see in the uh, home menu there is a data tab in that data tab you can see uh, there is a uh, option called excel workbook import data from a microsoft excel workbook from that you can get your uh, excel data in addition to that there is uh, another option so uh, click on this get data drop down and uh, click on the excel workbook or else you can go to the more and um, it will pop up uh, another window Yeah, you can see uh, at the top there is a Excel workbook and uh, and the file sections also you can get that uh, Excel workbook. Anyway, I will select this Excel workbook and connect to my uh, relevant Excel file. Okay, so click on the, this uh, connect button, then uh, it will open. Then I will go to the uh, uh, document and go to the Power BI. So uh, I select my sample data for dashboards and report development. Click on the uh, open button so it will load uh, all the data of my excel sheet into power bi so it will take some times within within five to ten seconds it will load so you can see uh, in the navigator page it will list three uh, checkbox why these checkbox are coming uh, to explain that one i will open my uh, excel sheet so you can see in my excel sheet i have three sheets one is order returns and the people so okay it has data so uh, now uh, in my excel workbook i have three sheets because of that it will list these three excel sheets so i need to uh, load uh, all three sheets data so i select all the three sheets like this and uh, click on the load button so uh, if you need to directly load into the database uh, power bi desktop then you have to uh, click on the load button so before load if you want to transform your data then you have to click on this transform data so uh, for this uh, for this tutorial i am not going to transform directly i am loading to my uh, power bi desktop this excel file so click on this load data button then uh, you can see it will load you can see all the data detect the relationships now uh, you can see uh, we have loaded all the uh, sheet uh, data into power bi now you can see in the field sections now orders people's returns uh, cell sheet names are display under each uh, name you can see available column names so if i go to that uh, excel file you can see the same uh, column headers list in this area so uh, that is uh, very in, uh, interactive as well as uh, interesting so uh, at the uh, in addition to that you can see uh, before the uh, header name there is a symbol called sigma and calendar so uh, by uh, power bi uh, by power bi uh, when we load our data into the power bi so if it is a uh, text column we will keep as blank if it is a numeric column then it will uh, put a uh, sigma if it is a date column it will put the calendar sign in front of this text so you can see that symbol is available in each and every column so in addition to that uh, if i open this people and the uh, return sheets you can see column one and column two at the bottom but uh, in my excel sheet it is not like that in the returns i have a header and the people also i have a separate header purposefully actually i have created this issue so i will show you uh, how to fix that 
normally when you are loading and generating dashboard using excel sheets normally it will give this uh, error so uh, to uh, correct this one uh, you have to go to this transform data menu you can see at the bottom there's a transform data click on this transform data and it will open another window the window is power bi uh, query editor this is the power bi query editor now you can see there are three queries available orders people and the uh, returns uh, if i go to the uh, now by default it has select the orders and headers uh, appear correctly but if you go to the people you can see column one and column two so uh, from that we have to change so there is a menu called uh, use first row as header you can see my cursor so once i click on that you can see what happened it means we have uh, promoted the header and changed the data type so once i click on that you can uh, i think you notice that there is a applied steps in the uh, window in the right hand side it will promoted the header and change type so that happened when i click on this so uh, sometimes if you need to undo this one you can de delete these uh, steps then it will uh, appear uh, in the as the previous state so anyway i am not keeping in that way i will correct this error then click on that then it will appear correctly okay so if i go to the return you can see uh, the, in the return sheet also uh, column 1 and column 2 is available so what i'm going to do is i am going to use first row as header now in this home menu you can get that use first row as header but if you go to the transform you can see same win, uh, same tool is available so uh, from that also you can get that use first row as header anyway i will click on that then i think uh, we have uh, created uh, the rename that uh, column header successfully then i go to the home menu and close click on the close and apply button now you can see it will refresh and uh, uh, your column names of the people's and return sheets display in accurate way so uh, likewise uh, you can uh, uh, connect your excel file with the power bi desktop in the previous video i will show you how to create the relationships and uh, how to uh, manage the cardinalities of the uh, power bi desktop and uh, thank you